Four vegans are travelling to Merthyr Tydfil in Wales, where they'll spend the next three weeks. Merthyr Tid Tidville. OK. Hi. Hello. How are you? <laughs> you look like you're Lovely to meet you. Well, yeah, I'm done. I'm Ricky Lee. How are you? Pleased to meet you. Yeah. I've got quite a lot of stuff. A vegan pizza. That's, yeah, probably off now. <laughs> We're not going to rely on you for cooking, then, are we? Oh, yeah. Why not? Are you a good cook? Cooking's my thing. Is it? It's my jam. 24-year-old Ricky turned vegan three years ago, inspired by What I Eat in a Day videos. I just think the food is amazing. It makes me so happy. Like, there's just always different options. I haven't got sweat patches, have I? No, OK. I converted because I believe that it was the best thing for my health. It's plants going into your body as opposed to dead animal flesh and the fluid and stuff like, ugh. Sorry, 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 sorry. My worst kind of vegan is going to be some, you know, animal activist. These people with laptops and this horrible footage. No, what are you doing? This is what gives us a bad name. Heading to Merthyr to join forces with Ricky and Dan is 32-year-old Joey from Adelaide. He's a full-time animal rights activist with 200,000 online followers. What is most important to me is trying to change the way things are on Earth to make it a, a better place for animals and humans to live. Just because you have a right to do something doesn't make it moral. I always knew that it was hypocritical of me to care about some animals but have a piece of another on a plate. I reflected and I went full vegan the next day and I've been vegan ever since. Without our money, these places do not exist. I 100% think people need to be confronted with this because if we all took this tiptoe approach with everyone, things won't change. How do you find, you know, dating? It's essential that your potential partner has to be vegan. Well, I've been married for 20 years. <laughs> Try not to date. 51-year-old <laughs> Dan from Oldham is a truck driver and part-time actor who turned vegan three years ago. In Oldham, there aren't any vegans. A bit of a play on the only gay in the village, yeah, yeah. I'm the only vegan on the estate, yeah. Uh... <laughs> Welcome to Mirtha Tidville. The reason that I'm vegan now, I started thinking about health. Then it's the environment, and then it's the animals. Do you know what a vegan is? Oh, yeah. You do... oh, what's yeah. the face? <laughs> what, what's that face? <laughs> I like my meat. <laughs> I feel like a kid going to her first day of school and hoping everyone likes me. 34-year-old <laughs> Jodie is the final vegan making her way to Merthyr. She lives just along the Welsh Valleys and is a single mum and vegan food entrepreneur. I've never ate meat because my father was a Hare Krishna. I think killing an animal for eating it is barbaric. Like, I don't agree with it. The way I live my life is to be kind, so I wouldn't want my other colleagues to try and come in too harsh and kind of scare everyone off. I hope that we all get on and we don't want to kill each other with a cucumber, because we're vegans. <laughs> the vegans are ready to take the message to Merthyr, but it may be a tough sell. The town is right to the heart of the Welsh meat and dairy farming industry. Welsh lamb is famous. We're built on farms, like, people would starve without farming. I always grew up every Sunday, ate a, ate a roast dinner. Seeing it in the fridge a few days before with the marinade and thinking, I'm going to have you. <laughs> There's sheep in people's gardens, like, people live in built-up areas and sheep will wander in. That's just part of being Welsh, you know the sheep are coming. <laughs> They'll knock on your door. <laughs> Despite its industrial and farming heritage, Merthyr is on the move. More young people are starting businesses here than anywhere else in Wales. And with a spanking new college in town, there are plenty of young, open minds for the vegans to pitch to. Merthyr's on the app, I think. It's a growing place. We've got small businesses which are like opening here, there and everywhere. They're opening their own gyms. Um, you see a lot of like beauticians and hairstylists opening their own salons and that's something to be proud of in Merthyr. I'd much rather be for Merthyr than anywhere else. Aside from Jodie, the vegans have no idea what to expect. When I hear the word Wales, I, I, I literally just thought you'd be isolated in fields with sheep. Big animal agriculture. It's my nemesis, isn't it? It's what I'm fighting against.
Everyone knows everyone in the valleys. It's a very community feel, but I'd say it's very hard for someone to come into the valleys. We're kind of like, well, let's see who you are then before we accept you into our tribe. The worst thing that can happen is hanging upside down from a tree with a pitchfork up my ass and loads of farmers dancing around me, setting me on fire. Yeah, I suppose. <laughs> we come in, no, come in peace. <laughs> The vegans will be spending the next three weeks living together as they aim to convert as many people as possible to their way of life. Thank OK, thank you, Gaffer. Thank you so nice much. to meet you. you and don't that? forget to eat a vegan sausage roll. I'll tell you what. <laughs> you all right, though, Ricky? Yeah. I feel more comfortable now. It's just a normal town in the middle of Wales. Yeah. So I'm happy. I'm I happy, think, too. I think we can do it. Hiya. I'm Hi. Jodie. What's your name, sorry? Jodie. Hi, Jodie. It's Ricky Lee. Oh, sorry, I'm a hugger, sorry. <laughs> Nice Joey is the only professional activist within the group and has a global profile in the vegan world. Someone come in. Hello. Hi. Hello. Oh, hi. I just instantly look at face. your t-shirt. How are you going? That's Joey Carbstrong. <laughs> Before, How are you going? Away, mate. Pleased to meet you. What's your name, mate? Danny. Danny, yeah. good to meet you. Hello. Hi, I'm a hugger. Sorry, oh. Ricky Lee. Lovely to meet you. Nice to meet you. Hi, I'm Jodie. Jodie? Nice, nice to, to meet, meet you. Are you OK? Yeah, I'm good. I travel around doing activism, social media. OK. Animal rights activism, vegan activism. Let's go out it positively at first, yes. yeah? I agree. <laughs> Just have fun with let's, it. Let's not go hardcore. <laughs> let's oh. scare them away first, Joey. <laughs> I just want to understand I think, my... I think your T-shirt says Maybe the truth away. Maybe going to say, yeah. Someone already said something about this T-shirt. You're not going to like me, I'm just going to put it out there right now. <laughs> hey, don't... No, 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 no. Already, already, I just like... Well, like no, 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 no. I, I just was. like to be kind of... Like, maybe came across a bit too aggressive, but I'm just being honest. Are you a vegan? Yeah. You are? Mm -hmm. I like the fact that we're pushing that message out there so people are proud to be vegan and people know what that means. Ricky and I are very soft in our approach, and I think Danny and Joey are very hard in their approach. So hopefully, I can be the voice of reason. I need my electronical stuff, and I can do what I do anywhere in the world. We are, we are a good group, and we've all got really good qualities. But Joey is a bit aggressive, and that needs to stop. Right. So, beauty salons. Week one in Merthyr, and Ricky is keen to take her message to the town. Sam's Salon. The number of vegans has quadrupled in the last four years, and almost half are between 18 and 34 years old. Ricky's looking for her tribe and has a clear idea where to find them. Already looks like a very popular salon. They all look very glamorous. Has a little, like, picture of the team. I'll give them a follow. It's quite villagey up here, isn't it? Oh, where's yeah. it? Oh, yeah. Oh, OK. Oh, it's very, like, you know, hidden away. It's, uh... I guess I just expect it to be a bit more glam. But I like it. It's cute. Hi. Oh, this weather. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> Sam started this salon six years ago. At just 25, he has 16,000 followers on Instagram and is one of Merthyr's growing army of young entrepreneurs. The impression that I'm getting from, from Merthyr is the complete opposite to this, and I love it. <laughs> a bit of glam in the area. Oh, wow. That's gorgeous. 18-year-old Libby is a beautician, model and an influencer too. If Ricky can win these two over, between them, they'll bring almost 30,000 followers with them. So what sort of foods did you see that made you think, like, yeah, I want to give up this for this? Um, so, like, I just watched uh, What I Eat In A Day videos and people making macaroni and cheese out of um, cashews and stuff, and I just, what like... Have you never heard of that? No. Oh, my... Nuts to me and nuts. Like, how can you possibly turn nuts into, yeah. like, cheese? I've got so much to teach you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> But yeah. I tried it two years ago for a month. Yeah. I found it really difficult, trying to find things to eat. So. OK. So what um, made you go back? Why? <laughs> I was craving Nando's. <laughs> <laughs> that is typical you. <gasps> oh, my God, that's so funny. I need a check in in my life. <laughs> I love that. Yeah, I feel like, you know, if we was to inspire, like, you know, one of you, yeah. it would really make really a big difference. Yeah. yeah. 
Now she's convinced the owner, it's Ricky's chance to test the water with a local clientele. You are so cute. Are you a regular here? Yeah. They just know my look, really. Yeah. Whether it's hair, whether it's makeup, whether it's nails. Well, I've just what? kind of moved to the area for a month. Oh, nice. Um, a few of us have come here and we're just working on a project. But when I say the word, it's just going to come across like, oh, here we go, you know. Um, but it's basically all about veganism. OK, my little sister's vegan, but I, I don't want to live at meat. OK. Quite simply, really. Is um, that because you don't think you'll find food that's going to taste as good? Or? No, I just like meat. But I actually had Ned's partner whose family were farmers. It's where the majority of Welsh meat will come from, will be around these hills. Okay. You might be knocking on a few shut doors. You know, their friend's dad will be the farmer and they've bought their eggs and their chicken from them for the last 20 years and they'll continue to do so. That's so interesting. It's very much about supporting local businesses. So it's quite a tight, close community. 100%. Yeah, yes. Everyone knows everybody. Everyone knows everybody. Thank you so much. Well, can I help you? Yeah, of course. <laughs> it's a really tight community and everyone's kind of like family. That's something that we really need to take on board. If we go about that the right way, it would be like a domino effect, I think. But if we go about it the wrong way, we need to be careful. There you go. Thank you. Thanks. In week one, one of their first jobs is to set up shop right in the heart of the town with a vegan HQ. The best impact would be a large percentage of the community actually going vegan. But I think more down to earth, we plant a lot of seeds, get the conversation going, and that's the first step to changing a whole community or the world. I'm hoping that we can get a message out there about veganism, um, helping people, educating people, and change people's opinion. Okay, welcome to Wales, it's always raining. <laughs> this is the main street. This is where it's gonna be like, the best place to do some events. I like the look of this street, eh? If I could get one person to go vegan for the rest of their life, that equates to a lot of animals, a lot of damage to the environment. Everything else is going to be a bonus. It's right next to Greg's! Yeah. Yay! Oh, this wow. is huge. Check it out, mate. There's so much you could do here. Check but you know, the location's here. really good because you know you're on about foot traffic. You're in, literally in the right in the, in the shopping yeah, centre. Yeah. This is perfect for um, outreach. The vegans are planning an event to launch their pop-up HQ. Coming into the sort of community, you can't just come in and drop a nuclear bomb with visuals and slaughterhouses and seeing animals die. You can't go too hard. We're going to have a party. Just like an introduction and, you know, getting to know everyone, a bit of an icebreaker. Yeah, I think it looks much more inviting already. Ricky, however, is not feeling the vibe. We're trying to, like, convert people in an exciting, different way. At the moment, this kind of looks like... A charity shop. Thank you! <laughs> Thank you! If you want to have the task of making this place look really inviting. Yeah, so we need drinks, you know, and alcohol, I'm sorry, you know, I know... But it's, you know, it kind of, it sets the mood. I'm sorry. Don't mind, you can drink. I'm not militant about alcohol. It just it sets the mood. As long as there's no cruelty, like, it's fine. Yeah, get pissed. No, sorry, get Completely me. vegan just... to get pissed. We've got a few hours. We've got shops around us. If we put a man on a moon, we can throw a vegan we got party. We've got Yeah, we, we need, need decorations. Go party decorations. Oh, my God. Hey, welcome to our party. We're so cool. So you say a no to the... Uh, personally. Oh. And we're having a party there at 3 p.m. And a grand opening party. Are you interested in hearing what it's all about? Yeah. Okay. Perfect. Just randomly sparky shit. Perfect. Yeah. I have tasted it, but I did not like it. No good, no meat in it. I mean normal foods. Have you ever had vegan not... beer? Yeah, I've had all that. You've had everything? Yeah. I want to be really polite and say that I believe her, but I don't believe her. <laughs> I'm not liking it because it's not got meat in it. Yeah. yeah. Bubbles. So, oh, yes. I need cake after this. <laughs> While the girls focus on the party and their vegan light approach to spreading the word, Joey is planning a full fat activist stunt. Hi. Jason. Hi, Joey. I was just seeing if we could organise that cube. Uh, do you reckon we'd be able to round anyone up for that? Joey plans to show slaughterhouse footage on multiple laptops in Merthyr Town Centre. Yeah. All right, too easy, mate. Thank you. Yeah, See you, bud. Okay. Cube of truth. You haven't done one before, have you? No. 
We'll, we'll talk to the girls before they get out there too. Just make sure everyone, everyone knows what we're educating the public about. Make sure no one's asking anyone to do anything less than vegan. Let's get to work. That is satisfying. <laughs> look absolutely insane. Oh, wow, really cool. Just look looks so good. Stop it. They are the, the best. These cakes are made with dates and sunflower oil and are 100% free of animal products. It's a proper indulgent chocolate love. With her business background, Jodie is keen to find ways to track the team's success over the coming weeks. As you know, our goal is to try and get people to become vegan. Mm -hmm. So we've got these pledges. So we're going to try and get pledges of people to do one meal, one day, one week, one month, lifetime of being a vegan. Or a lifetime. OK. Yes. We can then kind of follow up with them then. Mm -hmm. Not everyone's going to wake up and become full vegan tomorrow, but if they try and commit to taking one meal, mm -hmm. it might be the thing that makes them do a second meal, a third I don't think that should be meal. the goal, though. The goal would be, like... The bare minimum. Would you take this on board? Would this be some an ethical position you'd be looking to take forward on li for life, sort yeah. of thing? And, the, and the, the one meal would be, like, a the consolation. Minimum. She's changed I disagree. Her mind, I think I think sometimes people... It's better for them to go with baby steps. Yeah. To okay. see if we can actually make the changes that yep. we... Vegans for life. <laughs> Vegans for life. <laughs> Not just because it's for life. Okay. Right. Let's, we're so. off and we'll do that now. Okay. <laughs> yes. One thing I fucking hate is that phrase, baby steps. Yeah. I fucking hate that phrase. I'm not feeling a party right now. <laughs> I know what will help. A drink? Yeah, I know that. <laughs> so, <laughs> why don't we give you a shot of vodka and then it'll be fun then? Can we just go a bit crazy with the decoration? Because I feel like it's just going to really help. Just get this everywhere. Yeah. Okay. Let's go ahead with the confetti. <clears throat> I feel like it looks a bit better. It actually does. Okay. Good. It's time for the vegan HQ to throw open its doors to the people of Merthyr Tidville. They'll come in. This is Merthyr Town. Offer free alcohol. Offer free food. Get them through the door. Then we tell them what they give for. <laughs> Hi guys. You okay? This is a troll. This is a troll. You sure? sure? Do you want a bit of cake? No. Well, I told you I'm a vegan. Do you know what a vegan is? Vegetarian. Sorry. No. Vegan is someone who doesn't have any dairy products. Well, I told you so does vegetarian. Ah, well, veggie just doesn't eat meat. Ha. Ah. Do you know what a vegan is? Ah. Somebody that doesn't drink milk and stuff like that, or dairy. Oh. See? Nobody in Merthyr knows what a vegan Well, I'm going to educate everyone now. Yes. Can I get you to pledge to do a vegan meal if I give you a recipe? Yeah. I've got two pledges. Can I have a high five? Yeah, can I high five? And then it's like a family pledge. So I've got all of you to pledge one vegan meal, OK? Go on, go on in. Get some cake, get some food, get some drinks. This is Joey. It's opened my eyes a little bit to how they haven't got an, a clear what a vegan is. So we can actually make some impact here now. And if we can get people to eat vegan food, I think it's the way to, to move forward. I feel like people are kind of, you know, accepting that it's just a little vegan get-together. It's all right. It's all good. It was worth the stress. Oh. Did you want a drink? So do you know why we're here? Huh? Nah, explain to me. Well, what it is, we're trying to get as many people in this area to go vegan. vegan. I, I like? do think it is too many animals getting slaughtered now, yeah. like, do you know what I mean? I used to work in a meat factory in St. Mary's and them. They go did you used to work in a meat factory? Yeah, they used to go like 4,000 sheep a day, but obviously, like, where you was in. How, how, did, that, how did that affect you mentally? Oh, Can yeah, I ask no, you? No, I was only in the slaughter room for like two days. Fuck, I couldn't handle it. Could you not? Fuck no, I'll blend up my face, my nose. Obviously, like, most people, when they like eat meat now, they don't really see like the process it comes through. Like, yeah. I mean, like, Correct. I probably if you, like, took half these people up there, seen a cow getting slaughtered, ripped the part, ripped the meat, they chopped up in the middle piece and said, cooked it again, said, yeah, eat the burger. They'd be like, so yeah, but yeah. then if you showed them how a vegan burger got cooked, like all the vegetables tucked in all sound, you know what I mean? Until at the end eat that, yeah. you probably have a crack really, like, do yeah, you know what I mean? The best thing a, a, a person could possibly do for the environment is to go vegan right now. Yeah, That's yeah. the biggest impact you can have. Yeah. Do you realise that they're um, actually they're chopping down acres and acres of Amazon yeah, forest yeah, definitely... to grow food just to feed animals, yeah, not feed humans, yeah, yeah. feed sheep, cows, and that is affecting 
wildlife yeah, is course, affecting yeah, that's everything. What I mean. Like obviously, I got I got big views on the planet, and I like always be getting affected. You know what I mean? Like the older generation is just probably going to live through it and see it nice. Like, but like yeah, yeah. as future generations coming up, it's definitely going to get worse. Like, spot yeah, on. course. You've you hit the nail on like, the head, though. The fucking planet. Are we going to kill the planet? Well, the planet's going to kill us. You know what yeah, so yeah. we're going to go one way or the other. Like, yeah, you know what exactly. I mean? Like obviously, it's too many people here, yeah, and it's not enough food source to sustain us all. Do you know what I mean? Most people are scared of trying something new. You got you got to lead them on a little bit. Like, do you know what I mean? You, you can't force it on the neck. So do you think do you think it's a good thing what we're doing here? Yeah, of course, man. Obviously, yeah. it got me through the door, didn't it? Yeah, do you yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. Wow, well, that was a surprise. That guy came in. I thought he was going to take a beer, take a beer for his missus, pop the beer, go out and leave it. He had a bit of a swagger, didn't he? Coming with a bit of a swagger, a bit of a bit of an attitude. But don't judge people by the way they act at first. Yeah. I'm honestly thinking maybe we could get you to pledge a month's worth of being a vegan. Sam and Libby from the salon have come along to find out more about what a vegan lifestyle can offer. Can I just eat that for breakfast? You can. And lunch. I just this, yeah. You might not be this <laughs> tiny in a month's time, but you can eat it. I would get love, me my love. It. <laughs> love it. Love it. So listen, we do one thing from them, yeah. right? We've had this conversation. We've given you free beer. Well, you want me to try something? Yeah. Would you try one, one meal, one day, one week, one month, one year, I'll or would do you do a, it forever? I'll do, I'll do a day. You, you do a day, course. right? Okay. Cheers, buddy. There we go. It's given me the buzz that people around here are interested. They're really like not afraid to kind of see what's going on and get involved. Oh, bad. Good. Can't tell the difference. It's banging. I thought the party today went well. You try it for a month first, don't it? You try it for a month? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah I, got, I got two uh, one month pledges. Um, wasn't entirely convinced they're going to go through with it, though. It's a big world out there. It's a, it's a non vegan world out there. We'll have to see. I mean, this is all a big experiment for everyone, so we'll have to see how it goes. After their first event, the vegans are riding high with 10 pledges ranging from one meal to one month. That was great. Mm. Um, a better response than I thought ever yeah. could, could possibly happen. Education is the biggest part for me. Finding out today, I think we need to educate them more. Yeah, it's just all planting seeds, you know? Overall, successful day then. Great day. You'll agree? Successful Definitely party. successful day. Okay, uh, so what the hell are we doing tomorrow then? <laughs> tomorrow there happens to be a bit of activism happening. Um, okay. Yeah. Some laptops showing some slaughterhouse footage, and we'll be educating the public about who's, what's who's on the doing screen. this. Cardiff Vegan Action are really? coming down to help us. Oh wow! So we are literally doing a cube of truth. The others were really worried about showing some slaughterhouse footage to the public, but you know, I've got years of experience doing this, and it's usually been positively received. I'm a bit scared. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to see how we go. You look scared as well. Well, it's pretty much what you've been doing here. No, it's except not. It's a bit, no, it's not. It's a bit more visual. Would you not say it? so? It's a bit more You're visual. talking to people. It's education based. Activism isn't always comfortable. Social change isn't comfortable. I feel like this approach doesn't cause any sort of negativity. It doesn't cause any harm, whereas the other approach does. Whether it's more effective, though, I, I don't know. So that's the big question. To be honest with you, it's not the public, it's more me. I've never watched a video like that because of my job. I'm worried how it's going to make me feel about my life. I work in a burger van. It's my mum's business. I'm flipping bacon and flipping burgers, turning sausages. I just have to block it out. It is really difficult because obviously I'm really passionate about veganism and I would love to do more for the animals, but it's family. It just feels like there's, like, an elephant in the room. Do you guys see this? What? Uh, I just want to take your baby! What? I just want to take your baby! Oh, it's disgusting, isn't it? Yeah. She's He's just protecting her calf from this farmer. Some... Why do they do it, though? It's like... Well, he's doing it because people want dairy products, that's why. Slaughterhouse footage really snaps people out of it because they're like, oh my God, what? that's what happens in a slaughterhouse? I never did not expect that, you know? What if, um, because of someone's, you know, life, you know, what they do for a living and stuff, was involved in that industry? Yeah. Do you still think that's quite fair to show them that? Someone who's involved in the industry? Yeah. Industry. So, catering. And they could maybe 
you know, change their business, have a revelation and start making ethical decisions. And I think it could be positive, yeah. What if that person was actually vegan themselves and they already knew about that? And they oh, were actually... well, that's different. Why is that different? If they're already a vegan and they work within a business that's not vegan, that's sort of outside of their control, okay. unless it's their business that they run, then that would sort of be a conflict of their ethics. Okay, so what if you had to, you know, support a family and... Not even that, it just gave you a really good life. I don't think it would be moral to make money off the exploitation and harm of animals if you are conscious of what happens to them. Okay. Like drug dealing, where you're going out and you're selling drugs and it's causing like harm to others because of your actions. I'm getting a monetary gain from something that I know is immoral. What if you've tried? And it doesn't happen. Is this you? It is me. Okay, and that's why you said you're not going to like me before. What is it exactly? Um, so I know, so I've got clarity because I'm really just <laughs> guessing here. I'm playing the guessing game. Um, so it's a burger van business. That's. I was thinking you own a slaughterhouse or something like. Oh, can you imagine? Work in a your family business has a burger van. It's not vegan. You work within that business yeah. and you're worried about the ethics of that. Um, no, what I, you know, kind of feel that is a bit unfair is to show people that are in my position, you know, the slaughterhouse footage and go with that approach. Can Wait, you, you don't want to know or? But that doesn't, that doesn't really change know. your... You're already vegan, so I wouldn't have to show you slaughterhouse yeah. footage, but I would have to show someone who's not vegan and who's paying for them to be in that slaughterhouse. But no one wants to see that. Of course. No one wants them to be in there either. Like, so it's a really hard position of like, OK, we don't want to traumatise people, but animals are also have no choice either. Mm. Um, you know what I'm so <laughs> intrigued by? That you thought I would hate you because you work in a burger van. Like, as if. If you're eating burgers out of there, I'd be a bit concerned that, yeah, yeah. So that type of situation is a completely complicated okay. and specific scenario. As the group discuss plans for the week ahead, talk turns back to the best approach. I just want to, like, just give out really good vegan what about, food. What about... Like, really surprise people that it's actually vegan. Who doesn't want free food? <laughs> like, for me, uh, the most powerful thing we can do is show slaughterhouse images. We could even, like, um, do something more controversial. Strike up some emotions. Is she OK? She's going to run through emotions because of living in two conflicting worlds. Yeah. I feel for her. None to the rest. I'm the mum of the group. Hello, my love. I genuinely feel bad about what happens behind the scenes within the business, but I've just blocked it out. If I had something else that I was passionate about and it earned me an income and stuff, then it would all be fine. But it's just not that easy. Eventually, you're going to have to make a decision. I think that scares you the most. Yeah. You're going to have to just go, OK, I got to do what makes me happy and I got to do what matches with my belief system. But that doesn't have to be right now. So stop putting so much pressure on yourself. Mm. Do you know what? You're doing the best you can every day. Mm. That, that, that's more than most people. You're vegan. You're 24. Mm. Chill. It's Slow. Not, it's nearly halfway to 50. Oh, I'm 34, love. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm closer to 50 than you. <laughs> Only a 24-year-old will say that, so on that note... <laughs> oh, no, God. come on. Just literally, you'll be OK. Just mm. stop putting so much pressure on yourself. You don't have to make the decision today. Yeah. Okay? We have time. I just really want to sort my makeup out, cos obviously it's a stay. <laughs> I'm not going to lie to you, it is. Don't <laughs> put your makeup out. Oh. <laughs> That's when you know. I'm not going to lie That's to you. I've got makeup done her eyes. It's just so intense. It's been a lot harder than I thought. Ricky may have her own personal dilemma, but there's a big challenge ahead for all of the vegans. The word vegan can change people's emotional state immediately. It's a bit like a bit like when the, the Jehovah's Witnesses come onto the onto the estate. They think vegan, they think frail, white, anemic. Very much a hippie, very dreadlocky, sandal wearing, complainy, hairy armpits, bo. All they eat is lettuce. That's where veganism was 30 years ago. But I think they don't understand where we're at now. Well, 7.9 FM, this is GTFM on this Friday morning. 
So the subject then is becoming a vegan. Have you ever thought about becoming a vegan? We do have two very special guests coming in. They're both vegans. So what is your opinion? The group want to up their reach. And Joey has persuaded the local radio station to let him and Valley's girl Jody on the airwaves. Oh, look, look. GTFM. So uh, upstairs. Uh, hello. I'm Jody. Coming in. Nice hello to meet there. you. What's your name, sorry? Uh, my, I'm Ian. Yeah. Yeah. All right. There you go. Hello. Yeah, How you going, mate? Very good, thanks. How are you? 11.17 on this Friday morning and there's a Rudy Mental and James Arthur playing a GTFM and sun comes up. So let's say a very warm good morning to uh, Jodie. Good morning, Jodie. Morning. Hi, how are you? I'm very well, thank you. From Caerphilly. Yes, I am. Joe as well. Good morning to you, Joe. Good morning. From Australia. From All the way from Australia, mate. You're also joined by GTFM's uh, Joanne. Good morning, Joanne. Good morning, Gareth. Right. So you're in the South Wales Valleys, I guess, for a reason? For a reason, a big reason. Yes, they've, they've, we are. they've dumped four of us vegans off in a small town of Merthyr for, <laughs> for a big project. Correct. Our goal and our objective is to get as many um, people in the community to come on board to our lifestyle. We want people to come to our HQ in Merthyr, come be educated, come and get some more information. Some nice food too. Lovely We've been getting food. some yummy, amazing yummy. vegan chocolate and cakes and burgers, and we'll be dishing all of that out to the vegan public as well. Vegan chocolate? Yes. Vegan chocolate. I'll see, I'm uneducated. When Coconut you can... milk is a thing. <laughs> all right, no yeah. cows involved. Okay, we've got a very interesting caller, uh, a local farmer from Cardiff. Hello, Abby. Hi there. How are you? Are you okay? Yeah, very good, thanks. Hi, Hello. Abby. Hi, Abby. So, Hi there. I am a dairy and sheep farmer. A dairy farmer. And I also grow crops as well. I believe that where our place is in the food chain, the fact that we eat animals is part of who we are and what we do. Do you think that the food chain would justify having slaughterhouses or we could uh, keep plants as part of the food chain and leave the animals sort of outside the slaughterhouses and happy on the grass? <laughs> No, I, I don't believe that a human is capable of sustaining itself on a plant-based only diet. What if there's a bunch of scientists and nutritionists that have come up with a statement to, to suggest that you can be healthy on a vegan diet if it's well planned? Would that sort of change your perspective on that, if that, no, that there's concern? Equally as many, there's equally as many scientists out there that would come up and say that not having meat and dairy in your diet is, is equally not so good. We're talking about human health here and the burden on the NHS, and it's very important that we do take a Interesting. balance. Interesting. Health. Human science. health. Do you know what the number one uh, uh, cause of death for humans is worldwide? Uh, probably a heart attack. It's a heart attack. It's a heart attack. And do you know how the main mechanism that causes uh, our arteries to clog? No, but I can tell you that if you put dairy in a diet, um, it is extremely good for heart health. It's very good really? for health blood, the health of your bones. Interesting. The See, the science own. would say the opposite. It would say saturated fat and cholesterol, which is obviously rich in dairy products and meat and eggs, builds up in our arteries over time and is what causes uh, the number one killer of right, human beings. That, that uh, Abby, I'm now. so sorry. we got to wrap it up there. No Guys, problem. you've been absolutely Thank sensational. Thanks very much, Abby. Guys, you've been brilliant. You're never going to win an argument with someone like that. Well, we're not. We're having a debate. Yeah, you know, we're not really having a... Gonna, no, no, we're having a debate, discussion. Yeah. And I'm not trying to win an argument. How did you find that? That's really you know, good, that actually. That wasn't as um, harsh as I thought it was going to be, the, the, the farmer. She wasn't as angry as they usually are when they get on the phone to me. Back at HQ, the local activists have arrived to help Joey set up his cube of truth. Hi, Joey. You're all right? Hey, mate. It's so nice to meet you. Hey, it's going, a mate. pleasure. How are you going, brother? Hi, mate. Good to see you. Got two laptops? Yeah. All right, that, that'll be enough. Yeah. Hi. Here's Danny. Danny's Hello. just arrived. Hello. Hi, Danny. Hello. Hi, Hi, yeah. Hey, brother. Where's Ricky? Yeah, where is she? It's just a little issue with the um, radio thing you did. Oh, and really? Yeah, she's a little bit upset by it. And oh, really? um, I'm a little bit miffed by it. Basically, what, what it is, we thought, like, we're a team. We never got a mention. And this is not an ego thing. Yeah, no, we didn't actually the introduce the others by name. No, and so we thought, well, if people come down here and you two are not here, who, who are oh, we? I just thought it was like the Joey and Jody show. She, she, was, she was absolutely up there. She was, did not even mention us. I, I don't want to come. I'm not part of this. I don't feel part of this team anymore. Uh, and it was what? an oversight. That wasn't deliberate. No, no I, 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 believe, I totally believe that. Unintentional. I, be, I totally believe that. I like, hope Ricky didn't use this as a reason not to come down to this event because I knew she was a bit uncomfortable right. about Do this Do you know event. something, Joey? She said... I bet they think that's the reason why. Oh, it's really? Not, it, it really upset well, me. Well, I didn't, I didn't say uh, that, that, that is the Should reason I why. It? I was saying, I hope that's not the reason no, why. No, it's not Because I know she was uncomfortable about it's this whole not, thing. She would have come. Not impressed with the Joey and Jody show, Ricky has decided to take a rain check on the activist event. 
I'm just saying, can you answer the police? We've just been told we've upset you. Joey wants to talk to yeah. you. Well, she's, uh, she's red. She's red? Yep. She's not replied yet. If she's red, let me call back, okay. because now she's seen, she knows it's me calling. Joey wants to talk to you and explain. What's it going to do? It's not exactly going to make me get out of this hot tub and stop drinking my glass of wine and head over there. Like, there's no, there's no point. They should have thought about things. They're literally calling me right now. I should go back to the house or something to see you. Try and get it down, yeah. She's the, the old, we, we've, got a limited, we've got a limited amount she of... She did cut you off then. I don't know if we have time to drive back to the house and convince Ricky to come and do a cube as well. It is a team, and the whole point that she's not coming is because she felt excluded yeah. from this morning, and that's not our intent. I don't think you're going to change your mind. I'm going to go up there. Let me see if I can convince her. Rolling my sleeves up for battle, guys. It's fine. All right, you <laughs> give it a go. crack, and we'll right. start off the cube then. Go. Plan. <sighs> Oh, it's very graphic, isn't it? Yeah. Syringes. Yeah. The activists are planning to show recent footage gathered from British farms and abattoirs. No same person can watch that for too long. It's disturbing. You guys let the public see the screens. Come into the web of veganism and learn. Yeah, it's in your cheeseburger, that there, that, the blood and the, 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 the fear and the violence. All the best. All the best. <laughs> That was more like good luck. <laughs> you win some, you lose some. This farm has both free range and barn hens. On so, the way. Yeah. My God, you're bringing tears to my eyes here. Huh? How does it make you feel um, knowing that, that these are victims of, of human beings, aren't they? Yeah. Like us, we're doing this to them. Yeah, but you don't tend to see where yes. they come from, do you? So this is why we're showing the public. Oh, my God, pigs and all. Mmm. Yeah. No, no, no. These pigs, you know, they grow to about six months old and then they go to a, a gas chamber. So there's multiple gas chambers in the UK and you can hear them screaming from these gas chambers. It's really horrific and without our funding, without our money, without us consuming these products, these places, they're not in, they don't have business, do they? Exactly. Would you be willing to take a pledge to like either take on a vegan meal or a vegan day or a week or even like vegan for life? Maybe a week, just yeah. initially. A week initially, see how you go. We'll be Brilliant. in touch. Thank you Thank so you much for the much. conversation. No Thank you, really nice to nice meet you, Angela. Too. Take care. And he's like a statue, they can't have it. Treat well, haven't you? She's been well trained. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> Are you on the wine in the hot tub? Can I come in? <laughs> yeah, sure. Oh, Ricky, I'm so sorry. I just want to lead by apologising. It wasn't intentional, and I don't want to apologise. I am so sorry. That's genuine. And I know Joey felt the same as well. It was very high-pressured, quick. Felt like we don't... Does that make sense? It does make sense. It makes it, you know, 100 times better. I kind of want to get out and just hug you now. I kind of want to get in and get warm <laughs> down the wine, put some clothes on. Yeah. Well, actually, don't put some clothes on, we'll draw more attention. <laughs> come like that, come as you are. Oh um, come on, let's go down there. Seriously. Yeah. Thanks. Thank you. Oh, no, I've got it wet. Oh, don't worry. Oh, my God, I'm flashing. <laughs> Cover the modesty with a bottle of wine. Uh, would you say you're a compassionate human being? No, I wouldn't know. You're not a compassionate no. human being? You don't care about anybody or anything? Uh, no, uh... Not too much, so. Really? Yeah, so... So, would you say you're a psychopath? No, 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 no all of a sudden this 1.5 degree climate change target gets hit and the sea levels rise and people are starving. And when that kid gets to about 25 year old and says, dad, why were you eating meat and causing all this destruction to our planet? And now look what you've done. It's, how would that make you feel? Yeah, I, I haven't I'm, thought about that <laughs> in that depth, I suppose. You've got to think about it though, especially with the environmental issues, it's gonna hit us all. Anyway, the big question is, are you willing to give it a little go? I'll or, go one day. I'll go one day. You're honestly going to go for one day, yeah? 
I'll give it a go, yeah. Do you want me to hold, I, I won't eat these, honestly. Yeah, They've probably got animal in them. Look into it deeply and just have a think about what we talked about. All right, yeah. All right, thanks a lot, Brett. Nice to meet you. Cheers. Another whim. Do some cake? Cake? Some cake? Ricky may be joining the others at Joey's Cube of Truth, but she is sticking to her approach. Do you guys want some cake? You sure? Yes. Just called us a loser. <laughs> I probably am a loser offering everyone cake. Do you know what free range really means? I feel like I thought I did, but now I don't. It means that it can still be kept indoors. Yeah. It can still be kept in, in a large shed. Delicious. It's vegan. Never. Mm -hmm. There is death involved with cheese as well. That's, this is what I'm trying to tell you. We're so disconnected with it, aren't we, that we don't realise. It's a dog-eat-dog -dog world. It is, literally. Literally, in a human-eat-dog world. Are we doing a lifetime? Shall I put lifetime underneath? Go on, then. Lifetime. lifetime? Yeah. Lifetime. Joey? Lifetime. You got a lifetime one? Lifetime. Lifetime. Hello. You all right? Do you guys want some cake? She's come with cake. Yeah, I don't <laughs> care. I'm okay. Okay, okay. 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 I'll, 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 I'll there's some forks there. Yeah. Okay. Cheers. Well, we've got about four or five each, shall we? Yeah, yeah. Wow. Yeah. That's, that's more than I thought. I've got a lifetime. No, you did not. Yeah, yeah, I've got a lifetime. Shush, yeah, yeah. 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 After two hours of talking to the public, the vegan message well received, the team are about to wrap up and go home. Have you ever thought about, you know, living a lifestyle that doesn't include Meat. <laughs> Not just meat, just all animal products whatsoever. All animal products, yeah. yeah. They wonder what, what, what to do to my health, right? And all products is aggravate gout. They aggravate it out. Aggravate gout. They aggravate your gout. Yeah, I tell you what, you, 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 your veganism might have improved your health, but it doesn't improve your urine. So do you think meat aggravates gout? Or? No, I don't think it does. You don't think it does? Yeah, yeah. Have you put it to the test? Just keep watching. Maybe we can find out. You know that fruits and vegetables are healthy yourself. So if I, if I say, so if, right, yeah. that pulses causes aggravation to yeah. gout, right? And you come up with the question, you think meat does it? No, I've I have heard, never, I've I've I have meat, never read heard. that meat have caused aggravation to gout, I've, right? I, I now, have. if you were trying to make a bloody fool out of me on camera, right? Hey, 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 calm, no, calm, hey, calm, hey, calm, you calm. calm down, right? Come on, come on, come on, come on. This is getting a little bit out of control. We're yeah, you're trying things. to make a bloody clown out of me, and I will not have it! Calm down. Calm down. We're, we're talking about beans and a vegan diet, and you're letting this get too emotional. Yeah, you want to let's, calm down now? I've got my head up. Well, I, I'm not getting upset with you. I understand that you're a bit angry, and you know I'm not getting upset with you. Okay? I think we're having a good conversation, but stand aside, son. Don't right? touch me, my Let friend. me tell you something, though. right? <laughs> I come here with the honest intention of trying to find out about veganism, right? I disagree with cruelty to animals. I disagree with blood sports, right? And I also disagree with the way that That's he is good. interviewing me. If this is the best you got, then I can tell you what you can do with it. So I guess. All right. So a pledge is out of the question then. I've never met anyone that gets so emotional in a conversation about beans, about ethics, yeah, yeah. but not about beans. Welcome to Merthyr. <laughs> <laughs> you did well, though, Danny. Today, I was impressed with you. Thank oh, you. Well done. Thank you. Because well well that's done. your first time doing that, hey? Yeah. No, you, you're a natural dude. Oh. Yeah. Well done. Yeah. You feel good? Yeah. It was a bit of a bummer that the girls weren't here to see how good that, that actually ran. I was just hoping that they could see how successful this type of activism actually is and how effective it is, Like, because most of the conversations were great. And oh, everyone's right. happy now. We feel that we're just on the same page again and we all, we all look okay. Yeah. Yeah, look, come <laughs> in. I was never going to look at the footage like anyway. I'll, I'll do it when I feel comfortable and when I feel like it's the right time. I want to enjoy this process, and I believe I can still do that, but I need to go at my pace, and I will. I don't think there's anything wrong with that. I'm still contributing. Joey's Cube of Truth adds another nine vegan pledges, including three lifetimes, making the new total 19. As the first week draws to a close, Ricky is back in a comfort zone with a plan to reach the Merthyr heartland. What we're doing today is so ideal. We've managed to get hold of a burger van. Where are you pitching up? A football match. But I really feel like, you know, once someone's got a burger and they've had a bit and they're like, that's really good, and then you can jump in and be like, hey. Are you going to yeah. tell them that it's vegan first? No. 
That is the rule. We're not going to say it's vegan. Wait, 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 wait. But we have to tell them at some stage. Yeah, for yeah. sure. Well, you, did you like that burger? While they're yeah, eating, it's once they've vegan. took a bite. Once they've took a bite. And said, mm. Yes. Oh, I just hope. wanted to make sure everyone was happy with that decision. Keep it yeah, simple of course. Burgers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm really, really, really excited. It's definitely my turf, really, isn't it? Would you like a burger? <laughs> Don't do that. Okay, I just, I just, I won't, I won't do that. We got to really convince the public at this football match, and I can just, you know, be like, see, it does work. Well, this is the football pitch, yeah, is it? Yeah, we're here. Oh wow. Do you want help? Listen, pass that you. Pass you. You okay there with your two little bags? <laughs> How big it is? Oh my god, it's massive! Is that like what your old mothers are like? No, it's a lot bigger. The sun's out, it's not raining. Like, I think it's actually perfect burger van weather. So, are you and your mother in the vans together? We tend to avoid to work together. Bless her, we kind of actually spoke about it recently. And I was like, Mum, why do you treat me like this? And, you know, you know, why do you kind of not trust me? I've been doing this for, like, you know, nearly 10 years now. It's so difficult. <laughs> I'm not even... I'm not even going to sugarcoat it. I've worked with my father in the past and he still sees me as this four-year-old with pigtails. So that's probably what she means. For sure. From a mother in point of view, it's, it's... kind of like... Well, you're my little girl. How can you be this young adult with your own decision? There is a lovely kind of sentimental, you know, value to it, but mm -hmm. it is just... Yeah, it's really difficult. It's, it's so stressful. I think the more Ricky's learning, I think, is cementing the fact that she knows she needs to really branch away from where she her family business is at. Oh, is that the van? I can ha oh, have. Hey. Oh my god, look right. at the bed! They smell delicious. They are really good. <laughs> 30 minutes before people start coming for food. It's your first time you've sort of done mass vegan, yeah, no, vegan food, so what do you think? I think it's even easier if I'm honest. Don't have to worry about temperatures. I actually <laughs> kept it simple, it's a really smart idea. The fans are starting to arrive, but will they be able to spot the lack of beef in their burgers? Hiya. Hey, guys. like a burger? Cheese burger with onion. Yeah, sure. No worries. No worries. Mm. Cheeseburger? Yeah. Yeah, coming right up for you. Can I ask you, what, what do you think of the burger? Yeah, it's very really nice. Is it nice? Yeah, it's tasty. Would you have more of them? I'm coming back for another one. Are yeah. you? Yeah. Can I tell you something? Go on. Are you aware that that's vegan? There's no animal products in that whatsoever? It's tell me, it's tasty. We're trying to spread a message of people to go vegan. Do you understand the vegan message? I'm getting to. You're getting okay, to, yeah, getting yeah. Message, yes, yeah. it's it's far better than, far better than, 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 than a, a, the real meat. Free burgers! Yeah, Get your free burgers! Is it not me? Okay, Thank you. Enjoy it, guys. Take care, bye, guys. What the guys learn about Mirtha is the tribe mentality. The soft approach is much better. Um, and I think, I'm speaking for the others, but I think they're now starting to see that, like, yeah, this is definitely the way forward. Do you like eating, eating a lot of meat and...? They're actually vegan burgers. That surprised yeah. me, Adam. Yeah? That has it surprised you, yeah? Do you like them? Yeah, thank you. Oh, no worries. I'm, I'm starting to warm towards the feeding, feeding people. Showing slaughterhouse footage works and gets people's attention, but it's, it's a very negative conversation starter. Giving something nice to people, food, cake, burgers. The conversation is more positive. You bite that and tell me what you think that is, which animal you think it is. No, you've blown my mind. I'm going to say things like horse. It, it's it's plant. It, there's no meat in that whatsoever. It, I looked at it and thought, is it a There's vegetable? nothing in that. It's completely plant-based. But I didn't, it doesn't taste like plant-based or vegetable. No, it doesn't. It tastes like meat, doesn't it? Yeah. Cheese is vegan, the sauces are vegan, the mayonnaise is vegan. Yeah, but there's ne I'm never giving up a bit of beef or... You know what I mean? Like, yes, but you have just now given up a bit of beef just for now. It's better for you. But for the definitely thing... Definitely look at your diet and eat a mixture of things. Yeah. And if you eat meat, put roughage with it. You know, have, yeah, yeah. Put something in there. Yeah. We are supposed to eat meat, mate. We've got incisors. Yeah. We can... Yeah, we, yeah, we can. Yeah, we can. still eat. digest it. Your body's designed for that. Listen, the game's <laughs> on. Nice to talk to you, by the way. And, you know, I can't I'll do that. I can't, on, do yeah. that. can't do that. Can't do that. The incisors. I mean, a hippo has the biggest incisors you've ever seen in your life. And, and it, it, it's a plant eater. <laughs> Selling out, so we need to start prepping some more burgers. Would you have known that was a vegan burger if we hadn't told you? 
You're loving it. Is it lovely? Yeah. yeah. What if I told you there's no cholesterol in that burger? That's all right, I've got to have box off with this. <laughs> <laughs> well, I tell you, I'll buy by him all the time. If they didn't say he was vegan, I wouldn't have known. <laughs> My day. Awesome, Apart brother. from that goal going in by there now, yeah. Merthyr losing one now, that, that, that hasn't made my day, but that burger made The burger day. is a consolation. It is, it is. <laughs> the team may have lost, but it's been another opportunity for the vegans to get to know the people of Merthyr. I hope I have proved a point. You can serve traditional vegan food, you know, at an event like this, and it will be a success. You ran a really tight ship. Everyone really liked it. I really hope, you know, family back home will take something from this. I really, really do, yeah. Then enjoy it. At the end of their first week in Merthyr, they've managed to persuade 23 people to try veganism, with pledges ranging from one meal to a lifetime. We've dipped our toe in the water now. I think next week we're going to step it up a little bit, do bigger things. Maybe even some more controversy. We'll have to wait and see. Next time, a new pumped vegan joins the team. Everyone was like, he's vegan, whoa, that's crazy. Emotions run high at a slaughterhouse vigil. Just little lambs. I really didn't think I'd be affected like this. And Joey's past stirs up trouble. The community is locked down completely. I'm showing you exactly what's happening. What do you think activism is? 